Good morning, everyone. Um, my name is Mary Kay Heimbach, and I'm a member of the worship team at St. John's. And I'm here to talk to you about this coming Sunday's readings, October 23rd, a time after Pentecost. Genuine repentance and pretentious piety stand in a dark contrast in the gospel and all around us. All creation stands in need of God's forgiveness. Keep the faith. God's people shall be accounted righteous for Jesus' sake. Our God is merciful to sinners. For this we worship and glorify God forever. The first reading is from Jeremiah 14, verses 7 to 10 and 19 to 22. In a time of drought, the people pray for mercy, repenting of their sins and the sins of their ancestors. They appeal to God to remember the covenant to show forth God's power, and to heal their land by sending life-giving rain. The psalm is Psalm 84, verses 1 to 7. Happy are the people whose strength is in you. The second reading is from 2 Timothy, chapter 4, verses 6 to 8 and 16 to 18. The conclusion of this letter to a young minister offers a final perspective on life from one who faced death. Though others let him down, Paul was sure of his faith in the Lord, who stood by him and lent him strength. The gospel is from Luke chapter 18, verses 9 to 14. The coming reign of God will involve unexpected reversals of fortune with judgment rooted in mercy. Jesus tells a parable in which the one who humbles himself is exalted and the one who exalts his own righteousness is humbled. I hope you found this interpretation from Sundays and Seasons helpful in understandings for this week's readings. Thank you, and I hope you're enjoying the fall and all its beauty, and I hope to see you at worship. Have a great day. Bye-bye.